Hey coach, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Ben Neighbors, and if this is the first time you've ever watched one of our videos, I wanna make sure you can hit that subscribe button and feel free to comment below today's video because I know this is a really important topic that many coaches struggle with, okay? Now, what we're talking about is what to say when you're about to close a new client, all right? And we're talking about when you're on the phone. And what I will tell you is I spent maybe seven years of being in business where this was, I would say, the most annoying part of my business. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. I felt very uncomfortable. I felt very anxious. And I also had a bad relationship with sales. I thought sales were bad. I thought they were evil. I thought only scummy people did it. <laughs> and my problem was, you know, I'd get to the phone call and I would feel extremely nervous. And because I was nervous, that would like really show the parents, oh, you know, is this guy confident? Does he know what he's saying? Did he look, does he look too needy right now? And they would start to question in their own head who I am and can I actually help their child? So what we need to do here is make this very simple. All right, and I'm gonna show you just kind of piece by piece how to do this. And I do have a script. It's a word for word script that coaches at our mastermind use. This way when they get on a phone call, they customize that script, they attack it, their sales calls go a lot better, they're a lot easier, and they're starting to close more clients. But I'm gonna just kind of break down how it's set up. All right, so first, when you get on a call, we want to have a couple of things set up really before you even get on a call. Number one, we want to make sure your call is scheduled. If your call is not scheduled, then there's no clear intent behind the call. If you're just hitting up a parent and they're busy, they're not going to be able to focus when they're talking to you. They're not going to have a clear conversation. And you gotta remember, parents are very busy. Uh, they're either working, uh, you're, so you're gonna talk to the dad, he's either gonna be working, or you're gonna talk to the mom who's either gonna be working or she'll be at home. But if she's at home, she might be with another kid. She might be uh, running, running errands. She might be at the grocery store. She might be in the car. We want this to be set up to where you have a clear phone call, a phone call that is scheduled, all right? That's one, you want it to be scheduled. Number two, we want you to call the prospect. We never want this set up to where they call you. If they call you, like what if you're not ready? What if you're watching a movie? Or what if you're at lunch? Or what if you're doing anything? You're not gonna be ready and then you're gonna be scrambling to try to have a sales call. That is never gonna work because there's no consistency there. And you never know when that's gonna happen, all right? Instead, we want it to be scheduled and we want you to call the parent. If you do not do those two things, I promise you, your sales percentage, like your closing ratio will, will be very low and it will always be very low because there's no consistency uh, in how you do things, all right? That is standard. Now, when we get on a call, I know personally when, when you get nervous or if I get nervous, we'll start talking about ourselves. And that's the worst thing you can do. We, we do not want to say I or me or look what I did in the past. Parents don't give a crap about you. They care if you can help their kid, all right? If you can help their kid, that's all they care about. And if you're genuine, about helping their kid over the sales call, then that builds a lot of trust. So what we need to do is we need to frame the call. We, we need to frame the call in a way where it's about their child. What is their child struggling with? What, are the, their what is their child's obstacles? These are the things we need to be highlighting on the phone call. This way we can understand as coaches, can we actually help this kid, okay? Because if I'm on a call and I'm talking about uh, you know, where I played college soccer, uh, you know, how good I was in high school. Parents don't want that. Again, that's, I'm deflecting the sale when I do that. I'm just trying to be selfish and talk about myself. The, the parents are not, are not going to be buying me. They're going to be buying how can I help their kid. That's it, okay? This is why we need to focus the communication on them. And when we ask them questions, what we're doing is we're putting them in the spotlight 
and we're making sure that they are qualified to get into the program, all right? That's different than just getting on a sales call and trying to get someone in, all right? Instead, we wanna have this set up to where pre-qualifying them into your program. If you have that, then it makes it easier, all right, to get a committed client who's going to train with you for long periods of time, all right? Now, if you stop the video and you look at your own sales process right now, all right, are you doing what I'm talking about? If you're not, I recommend you start doing that, okay? Now, when we get to the end of the call, let's say you've already uh, diagnosed uh, the, the parent, you've already asked a lot of questions, uh, you make sure they're the right fit, you make sure that this is someone that you wanna work with. If so, when we get to the end of the call, here's what I want you to say, all right? If you're talking to Ms. Jones and we get to the end of the call, we break down the value, we break down how things are set up, but we say, Ms. Jones, I feel like your son is a great fit for our program. Here's the next steps. All right. So now when I say here's the next steps, I'm saying here's what you need to do next. I'm not saying, hey, I'll call you uh, in a couple of days to see if you guys want to do this. If I do that, they're not going to do it. They're out. All right. If we get to the end of the call and I don't tell them what to do, they're not going to do anything because there's no clear instruction. So we need to give instruction. All right. So when you say here's the next steps, that could be here's the next steps for uh, securing your spot into our evaluation session. Here's the next steps for signing up for our next camp. Here's the next step for signing up for a private training program. What it, whatever it is that you're selling, we say, here's the next step, All right? Then we say, if you check your email right now, Mrs. Jones, you'll see the registration link so you can secure your spot within the next 24 hours. If you secure your spot within the next 24 hours, I can make sure that I reserve your spot. All right, that's it. And from there, what we're doing is we're saying, go check your email, all right? And you could take the payment over the phone, all right? This only works if you uh, use an online registration system. If you have that set up, then we're, we're telling them, here is the next step. This way, when they get off the phone, you're not, you're not thinking, oh crap, like, I didn't tell them to do anything. Or, oh man, I need to follow up with them in two days from now, all right? Because if you think about it, if you're on a sales call for 30 minutes, we want the outcome of that call to be a clear yes or a clear no, right? If it's a clear yes, you've given them an action step, they're gonna do it, or they've already done it over the call. If it's a clear no, they'll say, you know what, we can't do that right now. Uh, like maybe in a couple of months, we'll get back with you and, and see. And it's like, okay, great. But that way, when you get off the call, you have zero anxiety about like going to sleep that night and thinking, oh man, like what are they gonna do? Or I have all of these people that are on the fence right now and I don't know if they're going to sign up. Instead of doing that, we need to be clear in the phone call and tell them what the action step is. If you do not do that, you'll be in limbo land on every single call. Now, if you wanna improve your sales process, I highly recommend, like, just check out our mastermind program. I, I have a free tour of exactly what's in the program, how it's set up. Uh, I show you hundreds of results, uh, case studies. If you go to my Instagram page, you can see that. Um, if you connect with me on Twitter, you'll see my pinned tweet, uh, a coach who did uh, $30,000 in two weeks. All right, so the results are there. It's very clear that you know that's what we do. But if you wanna learn more about that program, all you have to do all right, is shoot me a text message at this number right here. All right? It's 210-960-5771. After you shoot me a text, tell me uh, your name, tell me the sport, or tell me what it is that, that you specialize in, right? Then from there, we'll hop on a call, we'll schedule a call together, and we'll see if you're the right fit for our program. Um, our program is not for everyone. Um, and now we have two different programs. We have one that's for coaches that are doing over 100K per year, we have one that's perfect for you if you're just starting your business, you wanna get clients, you wanna to get to that next level. All right, so that's it guys. I'll see you on the next podcast.